Hi everyone, I'm Jack from Jack's English. And I'm Luke from Learn English Like a Pro and welcome to our podcast. In this episode, we're going to talk about successes and failures. Yes. yes. Deep subject today. Yes, it is. All right. So, Jack, what does success mean for you? Okay. Yeah, Hard question to deep, answer. Deep question. Yeah. Deep subject. Um, what I would say is that the meaning of success for me has changed as I've got older. Okay. Um, I, I think a lot of my feeling when I was younger was connected to finance. Mm. You know, I thought that uh, money equals happiness, money equals success, that that kind of thing. Uh, but as I get older. I think success to me is just uh, getting that kind of happy lifestyle, the lifestyle I want and actually reaching that. And, th and for me, that would be success. Mm. Um, so, so that's the first thing. So for me personally, you know, I, I have a dream of having a nice house in the countryside, raising a family, uh, being happy there, mm. which is more my style of house and situation. So if I reach that, that's success for me. And yeah. then just secondly, I'd mention, I think within our field, uh, you know, within English, to have, to leave a mark on it. Mm. To, you know, when, not necessarily uh, changing the course of history, but <laughs> uh, to just, uh, you know, have some courses that do very well in, in this industry and, and mm. to have uh, a lot of students that are happy with what they've, got from me so uh, yeah it's, it's somehow leaving a mark within this industry would be success to me interesting yeah how cool. about you yeah so yeah sim a little bit similar to you so there are a couple of things that i think about and not all to do with money uh, i used to think like that as well yeah. that money was the most important and if you're successful that means you've made a lot of money but yeah, yeah as you get older you realize that's not actually true right so a couple of things um i think having a having a, a nice, healthy and uh, loving family. Mm -hmm. um, of course, we are not that young anymore. Mm. So, you know, we're at the point where we're turning into the leaders of the family. So yeah, maintaining right. the you know happiness within your family is really, really important. Yeah, I think that's if you can do that, you're successful. Uh, next one is keeping your body healthy. Yep. Uh, another thing of success. Uh, third one is about having freedom. Mm. So this is where money comes into it. So money buys you freedom. If right. you have more money, you don't have to work as much. Right. So being able to have the mo majority of your life free for you to do what you want to do, mm -hmm. you know, is, is is in my in my opinion success. And that you know that can be by making a lot of money or by finding a job that you actually enjoy or running mm -hmm. a business you want to run, or yeah. just you know not not having to spend a lot of money. Mm. So the money you know you don't have to work overtime to pay for things you've bought like an expensive house or car yeah and then lastly um you know probably later on in life but using everything you've learned and earned and accumulated to help people yes yeah. i think i think that comes later on in life but yeah those are four things so family health freedom and then helping people yeah so you can uh, achieve those four things i think that can count as a pretty successful life yes and I would add to that, you know, from my perspective, obviously helping people, but for me, uh, helping animals personally, you know, for me, one of my dreams is to open a, a dog shelter mm. or an animal shelter. But, you know, is you need money, uh, you need yes. time. There's a lot of things you need, but if you can do it and do it successfully, then that, that makes a huge difference to the world. Yeah. Um, so for me, that would also be the definition of success is if I were able to do that. Yeah, definitely. Um, and a lot of the things I do now, hopefully, will allow me to do mm. that financially in the future. Also, one of my things I want to do. Yes, that's crazy, <laughs> isn't it? We talked about this before and we both have the same dream. Yeah, so, uh, eventually. Yeah, maybe we'll do it together. Yeah. Open up a oh. giant dog's home plan. Yeah. <laughs> okay, moving on to number two. So we are, we're still relatively young, yep. right? I think so. Uh, I feel okay. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, early thirties. <laughs> so, um, so but we've had some successes and failures. So let's let's talk about that. So, do you have any successes in your life that stand out? Yeah. 
Yeah, my standout success for sure is university. Yeah. Uh, because, you know, I, in England, in high school, I wasn't a particularly good student. Um, I lacked motivation and I, I just didn't really understand the point of going to school and the point of studying. So my grades reflected that. Yes. So As you they kind often do. of yeah right and and when you get that a lot you start to identify with it right you start to think okay this is me I'm not a clever person yeah that's true um, so I think I started to identify as that and then when I came to Korea I I started to study and mm. started to realize oh hold on I can study and studying equals good grades and then when I went to university I got a well I, I'm gonna boast a little yeah. now uh, I got a 4.35 GPA mm -hmm. um, which got me in the newspaper that is good so that's my that was my big standout so success and your claim to fame but the funny thing is you know it's this huge thing at the time and then when it within days it was history <laughs> I've never heard about it again it's not affected me now at all but you know it's one of those well, successes congratulations in, yeah thank you that's, that's good how about you uh, well similar so yeah I've done quite well uh, in in university too, so I got a master's degree. That was really difficult. Yeah, and I got a good grade, not four point three, but I think I got four, if I remember rightly. Mm -hmm. Um, so happy with that. Um, I've also done some pretty hard teacher training courses. Yes, yeah, right. That come from the UK, mm -hmm. and that those those take a lot of time, and they're really challenging. Yeah. So I'm really happy that I passed those courses. Yeah. And lastly, I guess I I like my job. So yeah, I I've, I've done. I did a lot of work to get the job that I currently have at a university in Seoul. Mm. So I'm really, I feel quite successful in, in that regard. Yeah, mm. yes, absolutely. And I think also something for both of us mm. is, uh, you know, we're, we're building this online community and yes, we're right. building online content. Yeah. You know, we're putting out videos and things. And although I, I don't exactly every day think oh yes this is successful a lot of people comment and a lot of people say mm. wow jack and luke you're doing great like <laughs> you know it's it's yeah. nice to hear that um so you know perhaps we'll turn into more of a success yes, in the future hopefully maybe. hopefully <laughs> yeah no i totally agree i think you know going back to what is success i think also you know pushing yourself yeah. not getting comfortable and trying new things that's why yeah. you know we've we've been Dabble in, dabbling, dabbling. Yeah, I like it. Dabbling yeah. into online videos and yeah. teaching online because we can teach far more people yes. via channels like YouTube or Instagram than we can mm. one to one. So, yeah, okay. I wouldn't say yeah. we've been dabbling. Actually, we're going quite hard. I dabbling think so. Yeah, a little bit. more so than we, a dabble. Yeah, we've we've been a uh, what fully jumping into y video. yeah, <laughs> jumping into the deep end. Yeah, right, right. Um, yeah. But yeah, I think we're both doing really well. It's it's a it's a steep learning curve sure. learning to use new Lots cameras, skills. editing, teaching to a camera is much more is much is far different than teaching one yeah. on one into a classroom. So sure. it's a new skill set for sure. Yeah, and it's very yeah. competitive. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Good. All right. Um, so those were our successes. Phase. What yeah. are our failures? So. You go first. <laughs> yeah, this is a tough one, isn't it? Uh, for mine, it's, it's, it's tough one for you because you don't have many failures. Yeah, I don't have any, so I've got to go make some up. Very hard. <laughs> I have plenty. No, don't worry. Unfortunately, I do have a failure, and it is embarrassing actually because you know it was the career I was pursuing, um, and I know I've mentioned it a lot in this podcast. I used to uh, teach and play golf. All right. But unfortunately, that is a failure for me um, because. I failed to become a full professional. Mm. You know, I was on the path and I was practicing hard and I was teaching and I was earning money. It was, that was my life. But the lack of progress I made over the years that I did it and the fact that I hadn't reached the level I had to be to become a fully certified teacher, oh. I could have continued down that path. And perhaps if I had, then yeah. now I would be a, a teaching professional. But uh, yeah, I, I didn't mm. and I decided to stop and I decided to pursue something that interested me more, which at the time was seeing the world and, and getting out of my bubble, which was, was my hometown. So it was a failure because mm. I failed to reach what I was mm. you know, targeting. But in the end, 
wow, what a great decision. Yeah, and now I'm right, here. right. So yeah. I think it's important to remember that even though you fail at something, it's never a complete failure because you learn from it. Absolutely. Or, yeah, or totally it pushes agree. you to do something else, which can yeah. end up as a success, like like in your example. Yeah. yeah. How about you? Um, a little bit different. So I, well, actually kind, kind of similar. I um, run a business a couple of years ago, um, a, an online business which aimed to help teachers find a job, teaching job in South Korea, mm. and also to write, a, you know, inform them with blog in blog posts about life in South Korea and tips of having you know an easy life here and things to do etc. Mm. I worked really hard for about two years on that website. I built it from scratch. I had no prior experience doing anything like that, so it was all you know. I had to learn everything new, and it was it took a long time. But um, anyway, I managed to build a good website and it, it functioned well. But I I, I couldn't get people to come <laughs> and yeah. visit my website um enough people i had i had a i had a lot but not enough to um attract um job posts you know employers to advertise their jobs that was going to be the business model of it yeah, so i tried it for two years I, I spent a lot of money building the website and hiring writers to write for mm. me and and it turned out to be a huge failure i suppose because nothing happened and the website's yeah. still alive we teach korea.com but no one uses it, unfortunately. Yeah. However, you know, like you though, running that little business helped me a lot because I learned so many new skills, you are. which have transferred into my new, you know, semi business, which is teaching online. So I learned yeah. how to, um, you know, build a website, how to use a camera, how to run a podcast, um, how to write blogs, mm. SEO, you know, basic, basic things like that. So. Yeah, totally. So that's definitely something to take. From today's conversation, isn't it? There's that, a silver lining. Yeah, in there's everything. always a silver lining. Yeah, yes. it doesn't matter how hard you fail. That, yeah, it's it's weird where life takes you. You it, know. Yeah, I, exactly. I can tell you for sure. When I was a teenager, I wasn't thinking I want to be an English teacher in South Korea. But here we are. I love it. We're, we're very lucky. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Thank you very much for listening. Uh, we have a question for you. What are your successes and what are your failures? Let us know in the comments below. Yes, yeah, and uh, we'll check them for you. I hope you have a wonderful week. We'll be back next week with more interesting topics. See you. Yeah, have a good week. Bye-bye.